Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am all sweaty. Me and Jocelyn just went to Walmart to do the big weekly shop and I just put it all away. She's out there watching Alice in Wonderland while I do these videos really quickly before I go pick up my kids from the bus stop. It's a busy day. I also scrubbed bathrooms. <laughs> so first I have a Hayden Row order just really fast. This is an RTS order, um, stuff that she had left on her site from, well, that's a huge vein. Sorry, that was weird. Um, stuff that she had left on her site from a restock a couple weeks ago. Um, as always, she sends a thank you card. She sends an order slip and a sticker. And this one says, this is your time, which I will be putting on the one loaf that I got. Um, I got obviously samples that she always sends, souffles and just one loaf. So this is not very big. Um, her souffles are 3.8 to 4.2 ounces, and they are $5.75. And her loaves are 12.5 to 13.5 ounces, and they are $16.50. So let's do the samples first. Um, the, her samples are always so cute, too. They are these little duckies. This first one is pina colada. And I've had this from her before, and I really like it. It definitely smells like you know, juicy and creamy pineapple coconut scent. The next is lavender pine, which I've also had like purchased from her before. Really nice. She knows how to do tree scents better than almost anyone. And that it's a very strong herbal lavender, almost like a lavender fabuloso it smells like in there. And then pine, excuse me. And then I think this is new to her. If it's not, I haven't seen it before, but this is into the night. And I think this is the Bath and Body Works dupe. It smells a lot like it. Oh, that's good. Dang it. I told myself, I don't need that one. And I didn't buy it. Oh, man. But that's really good. That's one that I'd probably get a souffle of. But not a huge amount of. And um, if you don't know what Into the Night is, it's that very, um, like, floral heavy. It's like uh, peony, peony, rose, patchouli, and amber or something like that um, from Bath and Body Works. It's very nice, but it's very perfumey. Um, okay. So I kind of sniffed through, was that all my samples? I thought I had one more. If I find it as I go, I'll let you guys know. The first one that I got that I already smelled and I went back to the site to see if there was any more. There's not. It's so good. This is her ginger lime. Um, this is just in a souffle. So I think she's released this before. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a very realistic, lime and ginger scent. It's very, it's not fizzy. But you can, it almost feels fizzy because of how ginger and lime smell. Um, that one is just going to be super like fresh and uplifting and beautiful. Um, ginger lime, really, really nice. Um, <laughs> this one I've spoken about before. I have gone through a loaf, a snap bar, at least of this. This is her clothes pins. Um, I've said before, clothespins is my very favorite laundry oil and Hayden Rowe makes my favorite clothespins. Um, it's a very, to me, clothespins smells like after you've washed your clothes in the washer and they're still wet before you're putting them to the dryer. That's how clothespins smells. It's a very nostalgic scent to me for some reason. I haven't quite identified why it is. Um, but I really like that scent. So, uh, clothespins and hers throws like, you smell it in the bag and you're like, okay, this is going to be a good thrower. It is very strong when it throws. So just beware. I had to get another souffle of her sea salt. Um, I have, I literally, I've melted through three or four loaves of this, multiple knot bars, multiple souffles of hers. This will be the third souffle that I have. I just feel like it's a scent that I cannot run out of. Um, with Hayden Rowe, this is a scent that if you buy anything from Hayden Rowe, you must buy her sea salt. This is something that no other vendor carries this specific oil. I don't even know what this oil is to tell you the truth. Um, it's unique to her and it's super just, it's magical. Um, and it's very just uh, like aquatic, fresh, clean. It's really good. You must try it from Hayden Rowe if you're going to try anything from her. Um, next is just Avo Bath. Um, I just wanted to get plain Avo Bath from her in a souffle. Oh, so good. 
Um, cause there's a lot of Avo Bath blends out there, but there's not a lot of plain Avo Bath. And once again, her wax lends so much to fresh and clean scents that I wanted to get this from her. Um, I'm super happy I did. This smells so good. Um, to my kids, Avo Bath always smells like Fruit Loops. To me, it smells very lemongrass and lemony. Um, I really like it. I just have to be in the mood for it. So new to me is her Amber Linen. I have never smelled this one before. She does a lot of linen blends, which I really like. Interesting. This is not sweet at all. So that Amber is that very like earthy, slightly perfumey, pretty Amber. Um, it's not sweet at all though. This one's interesting. Um, this is one that I can tell, like, I, I'm, while it's cold, I'm not smelling a whole lot, but I can tell when this one melts, it's going to be the thrower. Do you know what I mean? Um, with that, like, you're on cold, you're like, I'm not getting much, but I can tell that once that baby is melted, it's going to be crazy. Uh, Lemon Breeze. So I got this one hoping that it was, I've had some blends, like laundry blends that said they had Lemon Breeze in them, and I've really enjoyed them. I didn't know exactly what this was, so I've never had it from her before. And this is exactly what I want it to be. This is a very lemony, almost lemongrass-y laundry. Oh, it's so good. I need to go back on her site and see if there's some of this. This is definitely like a cleaner lemongrass or lemon laundry almost. Very sunshine bright, super bright laundry. Love it so much. I'm sorry if it feels like I'm rushing through these. I just have to make sure I get... we. Once again, sorry, we moved, but I had to drive 20 minutes to my kids' old bus stop to pick them up. And sometimes there's traffic and sometimes there's not. And it just, we got to get there in time. Okay, and the one loaf I got is her Christmas clouds. I really enjoy this scent because her Christmas clouds is um, white clouds, which is a laundry, blended with... Vanilla Bean Noel. And now I know that sounds, look at how beautiful this is. Uh, I know that sounds very plain maybe, but for some reason her wax, in her wax and her white clouds, the it they become so magical the way she blends them. I have melted through almost a whole loaf of that. It's almost gone. I posted on my Instagram when I melted it and said, oh, this is almost gone. And she's like, hey, there's some on my site. And I didn't realize she had released it again. And so I ran over there and got that loaf. And that's when I made this little haul here. So just one loaf and one, two, three, four, five, six souffles. I am so set on Hayden Row for a while. Um, I showed you guys my entire Hayden Row stash. Uh, Yesterday I uploaded it and that took 38 minutes for me to talk through. It fills a 32 quart bin and then I have this like, it sucks because her wax is so good. Um, but I just, I have to just not for a while because I have so much I need to melt through. If not, like things are going to go bad and they're not going to be able to, you know, be their full potential while they're melting. So I have to melt through some of that. <laughs> Anyway, um, thank you guys. I have one more video to record really quick before I go get my kids and it's um, my K's. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Thanks. Bye.